Y'all, what in the heck happened yesterday? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to tell you. But first, if you're joining this channel for the very first time, um, someone forwarded this or YouTube said, hey, here, let me suggest this video to you. Here's what's going on. I am week three. I am 15 days into a one-year challenge. A one-year challenge to go from homelessness through uh, stability, pay off a couple hundred thousand dollars in debt, all the way through to uh, financial abundance, financial freedom. Using these principles, the principles that I'm laying out every day, 365 videos to go from almost homeless to uh, financially free, using these principles day by day by day. How did I get there? Video number one. Uh, what have I been doing so far? Video 2 through 14. Uh, go check it back out. Uh, see what's up. But guys, this is where we're at. We're on day 15 of a one-year challenge. All right. What happened yesterday? A very small percentage of you guys know this. Uh, with about three of you have been my friends for a while. And I said, hey, I'm starting this channel I want to just go through this process uh, of just living out these financial principles and documenting this journey <coughs> of getting back, getting back, I'm going from the bottom to the top again. About 10 of you guys are people that I met as Lyft passengers just driving around and I heard your story. Uh, some of you guys, I did some coaching in the car and... Um, I said, Hey, I'm doing this thing. It's I'm keeping it really low key, but jump on, watch what I do. All right. Yesterday, YouTube decided that one of my channels should be seen by about, I don't know, 1500 people and 50 of you guys jumped on and said, yeah, I'm going to subscribe. I want to, I want to watch this thing play out. And so guys to every single one of you, welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. That's what we're doing. Um, and I know, I know that some of you jumped on because you hit that subscribe button because you thought I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. If this guy really does know how to do money, God's way, the right way, if this is going to work and if he's going to show it work, I'm, I'm in, I want to do money this way and I'm going for broke. I'm, I'm going all in and I'm going to see if this works. Glad you're on my team. I'm glad you're here. Leave a comment. Tell me who you are. Some of you guys already have. I'm glad you're here. Some of you guys I know are going, look, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I want to watch this guy try it. I think it's cool. I like his, you know, underdog spirit. Let's see what happens. Cool. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for rooting for me. And I know a couple of you guys, uh, I know a couple of you guys are wanting me to fail spectacularly in great, big, embarrassing, humiliating fashion, to which I will say this is not the most humiliating thing I've ever done if this doesn't work out. Um, sometimes you shoot for the stars and, and you know, you see what happens. <coughs> so I'm glad you're here. If you're on the camp of, oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a train wreck, thanks for showing up, man. Keep watching, I'm, this is gonna be a great ride either way. I'm glad you're here. Okay, before I get into today's topic, and we're going to talk about making more money. Before I get into today's topic, uh, I want to answer a question that's kind of been out for, you know, since I've got all these new people. Why am I so confident that this is going to work? Because this is an impossible task. It is an impossible task to go from zero dollars to zero debt to zero financial worries. Um <coughs> walking in financial freedom and security. Impossible task, I get that, to do in a year. Why am I so confident? A couple reasons. Um, the dumbest reason. I do have an MBA. I do have a uh, Master's of Divinity. That's just seminary talk for a Bible degree in biblical languages. Um, but y'all, we all know a bunch of stupid people with letters after their name. So take that with however you want to take that. That's just something I happen to have. More importantly, I have worked with 
people in poverty for over a decade, um, I have seen these principles pull people out of poverty. I've seen God use this wisdom to help shape people's heart, to form their minds, to teach them to live in a different way, which leads to different outcomes. Because if you always did what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. And so I've seen this work over and over and over again. And I would say probably closer to my heart, um, being a experiential kind of guy, I've walked this path a couple times. I've gone from living under a bridge at one point, living under a car at one point, um, to, you know, to getting a degree of being an uh, aircraft systems, avionics engineer. Um, guys, I've, I've done it. And each time look differently, this time it's gonna look different because each time you have different resources, you have different, um, you know, things available. The strategy is gonna look different, but the principles are gonna be the same. And so I'm confident this, this works because I've seen it work. And this time I think it's exciting because I get to document it working. Um, so man, I'm just, I'm confident, not because I'm confident myself, but because I'm confident in the one who gave us this wisdom and is kind and generous and powerful enough to pull us out of the pits we put ourselves in. All right, so now that that's all covered, welcome to all of you who are new to you guys that I found. Listen, I know a lot of you guys are, um, you know, homeless. A lot of you guys are living in a hotel. A lot of you guys are, uh, you know, living in your car. I know because I dropped you off there. And so, um, man, I'm just, I'm still, I'm so excited specifically that you guys are on my team. I'm praying for you guys. I'm rooting for you guys. Um, and I'm just excited to, to keep following your journey. Keep texting me and keep calling me. Um, you guys are dear to me because I know, I know that this is going to change your entire family tree. All right. That being said, today's topic, how do I make more money? At the very beginning, uh, you know, I did Uber and I did Lyft because that was available to me. I had a car. I could work 12 on, 6 off. That's how the rideshare companies do it. I could just get uh, Chad Roba show says it this way. You got to get off the X. You got to get out of danger zone. You've got to get into a spot where you can think clearly. Okay. Um, any hour that I spent <coughs> planning, working, strategizing was an hour that I really wasn't uh, driving. And that, guys, at the very beginning, I was, guys, we got my truck back from being repossessed half an hour before auction. Like if it, we had waited half an hour longer, the truck would have been auctioned off and I would have been out a truck and all the money that, the, I mean, guys, it's, it's an expense. It's way better to sell the truck. It's a very, very expensive thing to have your truck auctioned off. All right. Uh, the storage unit, same boat, same boat. It was close. So any time that I would have spent working was time that I wasn't either driving or doing other high priority things in my life. All right, now I'm past that. Now I can begin to start, um, you know, planning this out. I've got 5% of my income going towards building an emergency fund to create a little bit of distance between me and Murphy. And so now we get to the uh, topic at hand. How do I make more money? The, the, what I'm doing now is not, one, it's not really sustainable for anybody, but two, it's not going to pay off 200 grand in a year and then create a uh, margin to begin to invest and you know do some of these other things we need to do. So how do I make more money? Hit like if you've ever wondered that. How do I make more money? Because I'm about to address it, but I don't want you to be embarrassed for asking the question because it's it, we've all asked it. Earl Nightingale probably gave the best answer to that I've ever heard in a tape called The Strangest Secret. And he says, the only people that make money work at the mint. The rest of us must earn money. So the question becomes, how do I earn more money? And the moment we phrase it like that, a different part of our brain begins to work. Because now it's not this, um, 
I'm hoping upon fate and the gods to put more money into my wallet as if it's this luck or chance thing. But now it's how do I earn more money? What what part do I need to do? How do I need to begin structuring life in a way? If if I can earn it, that means that I can deal with it. One of the first first things I realized very, very early on, I don't remember who said it. I don't remember what book I read it in. But there was this concept called uh, locus of control. And what that means is wealthy, successful people believe that they dictate their outcomes to some extent, right? Barring calamity, barring chance, right? But that the, they are that they have a hand on the steering wheel. Whereas poor people, which was myself at the time, believe that we're victims. And I did. I believed that I was completely a victim. I was I was unable and incapable to get ahead. That's what I had been taught. And when I came across that concept, I was like, wow, okay, all right. And you begin to live differently. And so when we think about how do we earn more money, what we what that does is in our brain that puts one of our hands on the steering wheel. Here's how you earn more money. We earn money by serving people. A dollar is just a thank you card. If I go to Walmart, and I go to buy a fishing rod, this guy hands me a fishing rod and I hand him a stack of thank you cards for that fishing rod. That's it, that's what money is. If I go to get my car wash, I hand that guy a thank you car card for washing my car. Money's just a thank you card and it's based on serving. And so it makes sense then if we want to earn more money, then we choose to be of more service. That may be putting in more hours to serve more people. It may be becoming of more service during each hour. NFL football players get paid millions because they serve millions of people. Surgeons get paid what they pay because they serve in such a capacity to each person. That's it. If we want to earn more money, we decide to become of more service. I'm doing a YouTube channel. Will I monetize this channel at some point? I don't know. I, I think you have to get to a thousand subscribers. Guys, we're at 50 through a stroke of luck. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll see what happens with that channel. That's not what's primarily on my mind right now. I'm just serving people. Guys, money is a result of service. Money is a result of success. Success is not a result of money. If you serve enough people, you will be successful. And if you're successful in serving people, you will have money. Uh, I'm launching a financial coaching business. And so instead of being of some service to thousands of people, I will be of more service to each person. And I do plan to monetize that. Um, so that, I mean, guys, that, that's kind of taken off. I'll tell you about that later. Uh, so that's exciting. If you're working at McDonald's, I've got an interview later at McDonald's and I'm not worried about it. Why? Because when I go in there, if I get the job where at whatever level that job's at, I'm going to be in the right place, the right time, right uniform, right attitude every time. And eventually, in a very short amount of time, if I get that job, I'll be a shift manager. Then I'll be an assistant manager. Then I'll be a manager. Then I won't be making minimum wage. And the way you do that is you're of a lot of service. Wherever I'm not worried about where I get my foot in a door because this principle applies. Just wherever you're at, go in there, work unto the Lord and serve like crazy. We earn money by serving people. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, uh, do we see these prayers of God, give me money. We see, give me my daily bread, give me my needs. But we do see prayer of God, give me work. Bless the work of my hands. The Bible tells us at the very beginning of time, God created good works for us to walk in. So the prayer then becomes, God, show me, invite me into that work that you want me to walk into. Invite me into that good deed you want me to do. Show me how you want to serve other people. And if we set about serving people, They're going to give us thank you cards.
that's it, guys. It's not rocket science. I, I, you know, I wish I had some more um, uh, practical step-by-step, -step, uh, you know, join this 10-step program and invite 10 of your friends or whatever, guys, whatever. But some of us need this principle far more than we need a strategy right now. Some of us that are asking God to give us money need to hear that he's been waiting for us to ask him, God, help me to serve people. You monetize it. Help me to serve people. And give me eyes to be open to the invitations you have and to the jobs you want me to have. Bless the work of my hands. Guys, he'll bless that. So yeah, um, guys, I don't have a shovel big enough right now to get where I want to be at the end of the year. I realize that. And so my prayer absolutely is, God, show me how to serve more people and earn more money so that we can be there by the end of the year. Might be this YouTube channel. I'm definitely serving. I'm definitely, you know, I'm laying out these principles. Some of you guys, I'm adding entertainment value. Glad you're here. Some of you guys, it is financial coaching. And, and I'm super excited about the clients that I've got coming on board. And uh, we'll see how that, that seems to be happening faster than I thought it would. Uh, so that's exciting. Uh, I've got um, a friend of mine making, making me a web page. Again, I'm at the spot where it's like, do I take money from paying off debt to build a web page? Ah, and so I go to my friend. I say, hey, you know how to build a web page. Um, hey, if I give you a percentage of this income for a time, will you help build this web page for me? Um, so, so stay tuned for that. And so, the, for those of you guys listening that uh, are saying, "Hey, I'd like a financial coach," stay tuned. That I'll, I'll be shooting out that website soon as we get it built up, and I'll be. Um, we'll see if we if I can take you on. We'll see if I've got room. How do you earn more money? I don't know. I don't know. Your strategy is going to be different than mine. It might be you're going to have different resources. You're going to have different people on your team. I had a young lady uh, yesterday who I'm taking her on uh, kind of pro bono just because I really, she grew up in a poverty situation kind of like mine and, and I really believe in her drive and, you know, she's 24 and, um, you know, the next six years go by quick. And so we're chatting and one of the things I'm helping her with is um, I told her, I said, between now and, and our next call, what I want you to do is I want you to go to every single person you know and ask them, what am I, what am I best at? What am I better at than anybody else? And what am I best at? And we're going to figure out how she can serve people and how we can monetize it. So some of you guys, it's just figuring out, hey, how do I serve people the best? Ken Coleman, uh, part of Ramsey's team, man, he's he's got a whole thing on that. So I'm not going to flesh that out. Uh, just Google Ken Coleman uh, if you're stuck on how to serve people and your unique gifting and, and stuff. Um but to answer the question, how do we make more money? We don't. We earn more money. How do we earn more money? We do it by serving people. So that's it. That's it. All right. So I'm going to hit the road and I'm going to serve some people by driving them around. My buddy's building a website so we can serve some people by doing some financial coaching. Uh, today, you might serve some somebody that you know by forwarding them this video. And uh, welcome to my team. Another video coming tomorrow.